So for those of you who have experienced loss, great loss that way. First hand, and it's not easy to do that. Obviously, we have lots of questions and there could be lots of confusion and uncertainty around why, what the future holds, all of that. And so there's a natural mourning process, right? You go through the stages of grief. And when I suggest making peace with everything that's happened to you up until that point, with a situation that is as intense as that can be, the part of the situation that you want to make peace with is not the fact that someone you love dearly is now gone, although that may come at some point in time, maybe years from now, maybe decades from now, but making peace with the grieving process, because that's where we can find ourselves getting stuck is uh, thinking that, oh, this is going on too long, or I can't get over this, or I don't have enough answers. And just understanding that it's okay to go through all of that and that it's all, it's expected that you're going to go through all of that at some point. We talk a lot about the being aspect, but we can't discount the humanity of the situation. And the humanity is the need for answers and the need to put two and two together and understand why am I going through this and what lessons am I getting from this? But from the spiritual aspect, from the being aspect, you won't fully know what those answers are, perhaps until you're not here anymore. Or maybe at the very end of your life, everything comes into, comes together and you can see in hindsight why that needed to happen and the way that it happened, the time that it happened and how it pivoted you in the direction towards, always back towards your purpose and your path, whatever that looks like. So having peace with the process really just means being patient as you move through the various phases of your grieving, of your mourning. And this could apply to any sort of loss that we are still navigating. And as much as we can, and this is where meditation comes in handy, because it helps us to remove our attachment to the outcome and to the timing of these situations. And when we feel like they should be resolved, right? Because 99.9999% of our suffering is the byproduct of our rigid attachment to the outcome and to the timing of uh, whatever we're experiencing, whatever we want to experience or don't want to experience in life. How long is this going to last? When is it going to go away? When is it going to become clear, et cetera, et cetera. But if we can loosen the reins on that a little bit or a lot or completely, and that in and of itself is a process, the extent to which we can loosen the reins on that rigid attachment is the extent to which we can find peace and find peace within the process itself. So all that to say, it doesn't mean that peace is comfortable, right? When we are in a place of peace, it doesn't mean that we're comfortable and we're free of pain. The pain can be there and we can have a sense of peace at the same time. And if we, if we find ourselves still being attached to when is this pain going to go away? All that does is it intensifies the suffering and the suffering is what causes the pain to seem more, to, to seem greater than it actually is. So that's our opportunity. If you like that video, you're going to love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here and I'll see you over there.